Well, it starts with leadership and holding leaders accountable to be public servants. So that's probably all I'm going to say. You fill in the blanks. And then I think we do have to continue to say this is our priority. This is important to us. And um, there's a big cliff coming. A lot of money was given during COVID uh, into schools, which allowed for um, some of the programs that are actually showing and bearing fruit right now. And that is going to go away, which means we're going to have positions that will not be filled. And we already have a shortage you know, of people, so there may be some moving around. Um, but the need that those programs provided won't be funded unless the state steps in and makes an appropriation to do that. So that would be my message, is that you talk about let's sustain and build the support for students and make sure they know that. Because other people are calling that have a different view. Other people are filling in the void if your voice isn't there, that say give our money to private school. And um, private school doesn't have the accountability that public mm -hmm. schools do, and they um, get to select who they teach. Mm -hmm. And public school is the one place where we open our arms wide and say, no matter who your parents are, no matter how well you communicate, no matter if you understand our language, no matter if you are suffering um, from many, many stages of setbacks in your life, we will step in and we're going to learn and grow and we want our kids to do more than grow we want them to achieve readiness for great careers and so that gap is wide and we've got to